So basically, what we do, what we doing here today, boys? We are reclaiming the water parks ice. Book. We are reclaiming the water parks ice book. Too much, too much misinterpretation. Too much misinformation. Too many wrong ones on there. And there's like other ones that like rip off like my own, and then just add like other really random stuff. Oh my god! So uh, I've decided we are just gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna explain this most actually just most of this ourselves because I refuse to even explain some of these things. Some of them are just not to be explained. You have to figure it out on your own. Some of them should just be forgotten. Some of them I'm just gonna edit in like maybe screaming or something so we don't have to explain it because like I don't want to explain the grace thing. <laughs> oh me yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See. Okay, yeah. let's start with uh tier one. Starting off strong, we got um, the albums, you know, Double Dare, uh, Entertainment, Fandom, Greatest Hits, Intellectual Property, and then you got the big single, Stupid For You, and I miss having sex, but at least I don't want to die anymore, you know, the t- you know from Tim Talk. The classic. The, the Tim Talk song. And then, uh, obviously, <laughs> you have, at the top tier... Why is Austin's name spelled like that? And somewhere at the bottom tier, you'd get the answer. It's that he legally changed his name to his MySpace name, slash the name, slash spelling, someone may or may not have given him in in middle school. I don't know. I saw a Reddit post about it once. It was so weird. It was like, hey, is that the kid from the blue Pop-Tarts? I used to drive him and his friend around to, like, Willowbrook Mall. (laughs) And 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 my daughter gave him their stupid names. (laughs) I'm just like... Why are you on Reddit? Yeah. Didn't he also do it because John was spelled that no, way too? No, no, He he did uh, John... it first because Austin's older. So like, I don't even think John even legally changed it. That's that's later. That's a later thing. But you know. And then you always have the color coded alphabetical errors, except this one because. No, it does not make sense to have your stupid double album technically have two letters. That's stupid. Well, you didn't even, even need to name it that way in the first place anyway. Yeah, I was like, come on, bro. Because he's just making stuff up. Like, you know, we get into really? that later. That's, it's, a, that's a late. It's the Austin alphabet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's okay. He's illiterate. It's fine. And now we go to <laughs> tier two. Ah, oh, boy. Instagram song leaks. Ooh, what's, what about that one? Uh, uh. I think on those 6,000 Instagram like, accounts? But he, what, 2017? 20, 2018? Actually, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I think he mostly started doing that late 2017, yeah, I think 2018. Uh, 2018, on Instagram specifically, because first song he kind of leaked was worst because he just got in a bad breakup. And we'll, we'll get into that. Shout later. out to the YouTube channel. Shout out to Austin's YouTube. It's unlisted, but you can still uh, listen to the original version of Worst. And uh, then, um, for some reason, if you want to, and then later on, he started uh, leaking songs on Instagram. Uh, I guess like a little after, it, it it got him into some hot water with the their old label. But like he he still continually does that, and I think now it's more like in line with like the label and like consulting them. So you know, whatever. And then we have ATSP, which stands for Austin and Travis's Slumber Party, the podcast with Austin's friend. Just like this, the podcast like, turned to her. Yeah, just uh, it was a total whatever like, three it is dates. now. Um, it's with his friend. It's with Austin's friend Travis, who's just like this completely normal guy. He's just he straight up works a government job. He's he's, he's not supposed to say it, he's but he author. has said it. He's just like, a, he's so just a guy. Times. He's just he's. Just, He's just a little guy. He he's reads fan fiction about Austin getting banged by his friends, and he gets disappointed <laughs> so many times, just like for different reasons. And so like, he's very normal. normal. Like, oh yeah, you want to comment on how, how hot you think your your friend would be wearing panties? That's that's so normal. 
That's so adorable, man. Nor- normal Ooh. people behavior. What? Honestly, actually, most sane yeah, water parks honestly, fan. Yeah, honestly, considering this is the guy who might have shown yeah. his balls to Austin on a Discord call once. Yeah, sure, why not? Nut shot angle. If you needed to, like, if you this wanted is a to. Great OnlyFans angle. If you wanted to give any feedback, we have them. <laughs> no. How was that? Subscribe to your only. I would subscribe to. I would never look at your OnlyFans. Man, that's messed up. <laughs> that's the most fucked up thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Oh no! Whatever, dude. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I guess I gotta keep my day oh, job no. for now. Yeah. Yeah. Most sane fan. Austin is uh, straight. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, that one cannot um, be said with a straight to face. Ask him years ago, he replied to a fan ask, asking his sexuality with like, I'm straight, but I wish I was bi so then I'd have more people. That got reposted onto our bisexual once though and people were making fun of him. <laughs> and they were like, uh, who's gonna <laughs> tell <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. Also, Pink. Pink by water parks exists. Will he ever answer what that is about? Nope, I'll just say it's not about a lesbian, though. Let's, uh, that, let's move on. Uh, sure is about Sonny playing for the other team, though. And then we got Jeff Streams on here. I got Jeff Streams on here because he used to stream when I make, made this, but uh, now he's kind of MIA. I don't even know like what he does in Houston or like who he lives with. Um, who knows? I don't... What? Yeah, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is an enigma. All he does is go online and uh, post a red Sometimes heart. Sometimes it's a black heart. But he talks more now because he's on tour. <laughs> and uh, then here I put the EPs because, you know, they don't get as much love, obviously. Then you got Otto doesn't do social media. Self-explanatory. Otto is like the foil. Honestly, off. if I was in water parks, I wouldn't yeah, either. Yeah, honestly. Austin social media, which is so much and so annoying. And wow, this is a 31 year old man. And uh, we have Pixar songs, which means that every, like, every perks release, there is a Pixar reference titled in w- at least one of the songs and you know it's a cute little thing kind of a disney adult thing not gonna lie kind of millennial <laughs> kind of hashtag um and the last not least parks twitter you've heard about it you've been you near fear it. it you don't want to be near it it's a it's a place moving on it's a padded room Look at this society. I get a lot of society. And uh, <laughs> we on the third tier, everyone. Third tier. Oh, this is a, this is a <laughs> intense <laughs> one. Where it gets worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Yellow Power Ranger. So, 2016, I believe, to mid to late 2017 actually it's a little more complicated than that but like for convenience sake uh austin dated the actress for the the yellow power ranger ciara hannah she uh found out about the band because she was like um you know like a new fan so obviously they connected online and then they started dating and then it got worse and then it everything so, happened. So bad. It got so bad. Basically, um, and then worst happened. One night, yeah, they broke up at some point, and then they got back together again after that. This was might have remind you. This is like during when Austin wrote Entertainment. They broke up, but then they got back together. So that's why it sounds like that. And then they officially broke up during the Made in America tour. She uh, FaceTimed him as she was cheating on him and uh 
And then we're, we're she threw now. his shoes in the trash can. Yeah, she threw his shoes in the trash can after making fun of his other ex for, like, selling his clothes on, like, Poshmark. Which was so, also Grace, by the way. So. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna get into her later. I don't want, I don't <laughs> want to, though. She's the feared topic. She's, she is a hot topic. Okay. Next, uh, something lighter. Austin has heterochromia. Uh, it just means he has two different color eyes. It just makes him more of a main character syndrome, kind of Mary Sue. And he'll make you know that he has two colored eyes. Blue-eyed memes versus green-eyed memes, except in one really, really annoying He's like somebody with blue eyes, but worse. Then we got Gostin here, you know? It's the ship between Jeff and Austin. (laughs) And I will say this, Gostin was... uh, I picked up traction around, like, you know, the whole race thing which we'll get into later (laughs) but but basically you know it's just like a cute little ship it's like they're not really as close as like austin is to like some of the other member of why did i say some of the other members there's only one other member but there's two of them (laughs) uh austin just has to be a little gay with his friends it's fine he's not as close to uh jeff as he is to like Jeff, or I've, what am I doing? I say, I see it's the auto or John, but you know, it, it's a cute ship, you know, not nothing much. But I have, I, I'm right about it being a psyop to distract you from the Grace Auto. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, that's the only truth yeah. to that. And old YouTube videos, so basically, they just have a variety of vlogs up on their YouTube channel, you know, old vlogs, little skits. Just like mm-hmm. cute things like that. Some of them weren't that cute. Water parks going to Florida being the most watched yeah. one. Some of them weren't that cute, which we'll, we'll get into later. <laughs> I keep saying that, but like we did, we really do. Okay, and then you got Felony Steve, Kyle Fletcher's mm. little kids, Bob. So those are just like three of Austin's like alternate personas. Felony Steve. Is a is a SoundCloud rapper, and so is Lil Kids Bob. Lil Kids Bob came first, and then Felony Steve is also a SoundCloud rapper that had a mixtape, like a wholly produced mixtape, released December twenty seventeen, and then taken down the next day because um of their contract with Equal Vision, and um the end of that was <laughs> not very good. And then Kyle Fletcher's was this uh, joke band guy character Austin made up. When he got on the news, our camera crews caught up with December's tragedy musician Kyle Fletcher's as he got off one of the five stages set up for the large concert. It's very hot on stage because I'm always bouncing around. My friends and I do this uh, synchronized thing where we go like, Rah! and then they ha- there actually Somehow. is like a, a track on Spotify attributed to December's tragedy, which is uh, supposedly Kyle's band. And uh, oh. yeah. God, I remember that song releasing. Yeah, so weird. But it's sung by the lead singer. Somehow he convinced the lead singer of... Uh... Was it Pat and Pending? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah Joe. Joe. Joe from Pat and Pending to sing on the track. And it's it's real. It's on Spotify. You can go listen to it now. But, like, do you really want to? It's just okay. We advise against listening to it if you value your just don't take it mind. seriously. Uh, ironically I mean, enough, this is only like the second time Austin would l- would be on like the news. Uh, I'll get into that later. I, I need to ca- start a counter of that. <laughs> uh, now we got kind of disjointed album lore. So uh, starting like what like at post fandom Austin. Well, no, no, not post fandom. Post entertainment Austin got really into you know making lore doing all these like weird algorithmic uh, ciphers and like stuff like that like not non-traditional ciphers. hiding stuff in the code of their website yeah. i was like what are you talking about yeah yeah like they would hide stuff in the code of their website hey, you know and then like he would create like this kind of lore around like some of his like own superstitions and life and it's 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 not really cohesive 
probably because like it's draw so much from his real life that it's like he tries to make a story out of it but it doesn't really make sense in practice and sometimes he abandons those concepts like um for example famous the randomly capitalized words and random yeah, like, things example like one of the examples is like the famous uh saturday 7 p.m like a concept in a fandom of like um concept of waiting for like uh like something that never comes ever happened yeah yeah it's like it's like his calvin klein underwear shirt or like and the the entire track movie. list that was found in codes and never existed yeah and then someone submitted to us like the entire real soundtrack before the track list was released before grace leaked the track list we'll yeah. get into that later <laughs> and then speak uh, later on we will mention all the things that have been submitted to us without being announced first yeah and like right. it was a music review in italian and it had all the real titles and when yeah. everyone saw i miss having sex but at least i don't want to die anymore on the thing everyone was like no you gotta be fucking kidding no. right that's a joke like, yeah that has to be the joke title right? that, this has to be like it's a mistranslation totally right. this has to be like they just gave a fake name so that we wouldn't know the real name yeah nope. If only we could be gifted with yeah, that. Yeah, so anyways, like, stuff like that, along with, like, his, like, superstitious numbers of, like, 103 or 67, kind of, like, disjointed album lore that doesn't really go anywhere. Like, the most cohesive, like, lore you get is just, like, his real life he lived. And that's just kind of depressing. He's just existing. <laughs> Ooh, and then next we got the Double Dare bonus. Those are fun. Oh, what my we do favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. And candy, and candy there are, yes. There, are two, there were two uh, released Japan only. If you don't know, uh, Japan gets a lot of like bonus trucks and stuff because of like manufacturing and stuff. I, I watched a video about it once, whatever. But like they're really good and they should have been on the album, especially what we do for fun, because I could not see that on the entertainment tour because I couldn't go. So yeah, they're really good. And then we got the equal vision conflict. Wait, hold up. I think I think I ha there's a post long, long ago about it. But like wasn't it? Didn't they uh, accidentally get leaks posted? Yeah, before I think stuff was I announced? think he. I think they uh, posted like stuff. Yeah, in advance. Oh, they didn't promote his album they either. Didn't promote they... it either. Hold up, there's a whole thread about it on the. It, blog. It's like I'm sure we're right about like almost every single okay, one. Okay, one of the there's one of the things was like this. Oh yeah, it, it was, was stuff like that, and then there was also wasn't that the time that Apple Music also released their entire album, like. A month or two before the release date. I didn't. I, think I so. barely remember it because I wasn't on Twitter at the time. But yeah, most of their conflict with Equal Vision was mostly like you know unplanned, uh, like uh, release. Thing. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is typing? Oh me, sorry. <laughs> it's like so aggressive. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, so like I, oh god, it's like shit like this. Oh my god, I forgot how how messy things were. Jesus Christ. I when he tweeted this. So basically, most of their conflict was God. that, like, um, yeah, things getting released early, th things like not being organized well, um, not, not getting like, you not know, being not, on time, not getting like, you know, a lot of freedom, not even owning their music. So they like either left the label or got dropped, honestly. Oops to say, but uh, as a result of that, they don't like make any money off their equal vision. Oh yeah, entertainment releases. got um released October twenty seventh in the UK only. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's good. That's really bad. And ooh. yet he came to fueled by ramen after all. Switching one problem for like five thousand <laughs> others. Yeah, I'm like, oh Jesus. Yeah, that's the equal vision right. conflict. So, if you ever hear about that. Mm. Okay. So, and then next we got Friendly Reminder. We should have lived in the Friendly Reminder verse. Uh, honestly, honest to God. I, I wish we were in the timeline where that existed. I feel like there would be a lot more peace. 
there would be so much peace. No one would have to tell you to stream fandom, even if you didn't like it, because like no one even got the point of that album either, because it was mostly a breakup album. Anyways, Friendly Reminder <laughs> was the planned F album for uh, Water Parks. It was teased like multiple times, like through like you know tweets and on his social media and In music video the not warriors music video where he opens one of the cabinets and it's a tape that's a friendly reminder eventually he tweeted that uh he deleted the files kind of a lie but uh he was going to redo they were going to redo the i have album. a feeling he just rebranded it as yeah greatest no he, he definitely no he you mean fandom? Yes, that's what I mean. And maybe some tracks on Greatest Hits. Yeah, I think... Well, yeah, because... Yeah. Um, after he announced this, he leaked uh, the demo play. And that was supposed to be a friendly reminder track, clearly. So he clearly didn't delete the files. He was just, like, yeah, saying cause... that for a dramatic effect. Yeah, he's yeah. very possessive of his work, too. Like, he, he does not want to lose anything. So, like, he, he kept the files, obviously, but I, I assume he j- mostly just said that for dramatic effect and also just so, to Because didn't he, he also tweeted it in a lowercase to seem more serious. Yeah, it was pretty serious. His hair was red at that point, too, because um, they were opening for 1OK Rock on their spring tour. And uh, he dyed his hair red for a bit of a time yeah. at that point. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got into auto serial killer jokes i don't even know who started those but like i think it's because like no one fucking knows what auto does i was about to say i literally my friend today literally was like i just thought something about serial killer and i I kind of let out a long sigh i'm like like, yeah i feel like that's the general reaction when you see the jokes anymore it's just like it's just like yeah you put it to the in a song it's like that's not gonna age well yeah (laughs) so like I don't think gonna think it's funny right. because he's I not feel, online. I think he was. Of course, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't funny. even know. They're gonna play that song live, also, and like, Otto's gonna be like, "I'm." It's what? Yeah, it's gonna be like, "Who the fuck is that?" Right. Oh my. God. I think it was around. I don't know because, like, for a while, he kept joking about how his middle name's Danielle, but it's actually Richard. As in Dick. Yeah. And like that's a way funnier yeah. joke. Yeah. Yeah. Take that joke instead. Yeah. No. 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 That means like there's like. <laughs> We're in an inside. They're telling us like an inside joke between Austin and Otto, but like only telling us half the joke and not the other half that's supposed to make it funny. The joke should have just stayed inside. I deserve to know. I know it's just so stupid. We it's like we're living the in thing. their world, and like every the rest of us are bystanders. Like and I, I'll get into that later. It's crazy. Like the uh, <laughs> the way anyway. all of these <laughs> levels intertwine with each other. Maybe because it's about the same dance. Anyways, next is Jeff loves Michigan. It's just like this lie Austin came up with one time when, like, he took a photo of like Jeff at like a mall with a Minions calendar in front of him, and he just like said Jeff loves Minions. So everyone kept giving him Minion shit, but Jeff didn't really care about Minions actually. I have a feeling the one that has the most potential to be a serial killer in this band would possibly be Jeff. Oh yeah, he's, that's because he's big. He's gonna that's snap. That's gonna be large. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, like they used to say that um, he would like he's kind of an aggro drunk, or like also he kind of would like have like some moments once a once in a f- few like times where like he just kind of get really pissed off, and also he was the one starting fights on like on like you know like their shitty one off warp dates so. <laughs> It's Jeff so... behavior, classic Jeff behavior. Jeff's, Jeff's so chaotic, but like he's like a he's like a very internalized chaotic. <laughs> yeah, Park's Instagram. It's uh, it's a little more chaotic than Park's Twitter, if I'm being honest. Because like, Jesus Christ, some of the things I see on those the things pages, that they make up on there. They they don't they don't give a fuck, <laughs> bro. Because you can't indirect anything. And, like, the only way he'd see shit is if, like, you tagged him or, like, something. So, like, they just go ham. They don't, they Park's don't Instagram fuck. is, like, no man's land. You that do not no want man's to touch land. it. That's, like, the first step into no man's land. You either get, like, a weird RP account or, like, a strange meme account. So, just, like, what the hell am- is this? Where am I? 
you know? Yeah. We got the Demos album. The Demos album is the uh, album that only came out on SoundCloud because um, Austin asked for 20,000 retweets by the end of like uh, the day he tweeted that. And it got to that thing. So uh, he ended up posting a collection of demos on SoundCloud ranging from like 2014. Life is puke? Yeah, life is puke. One of them wasn't even like a demo. One of them was just like a like a note of like saying like what the fuck, man? How did you guys yeah. retweet all that? Just like group chat. Yeah. It was, it's a pretty good like demo album. Like a lot of them are just like, man, why did you put this on an album? Why did you have to make fit? But we got finally boys. Oh wait, I'm no- sorry, noise. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you didn't say noise boys. I know. I. I- I was uh, okay. holding back. You were holding Didn't back. Didn't we have okay. a Glitter Times on? Yeah, Glitter yeah, Times was on there, but... Uh, Lemonade. You know, Play and, um, like, stuff like Sad Game wasn't on there. And I was just like, bruh, you get some, like, Blink-182 ripoff demo from 2014, but you can't put Play? L. Yep. Anyway. Yes. Here we got Blake. Blake is the imaginary bassist of water parks. He's uh, portrayed in music videos by um, their friend, whose real name I have no idea what it is, but his name uh, currently is Dane. He's a musician. He's formerly known by the names um, Sheldon McQueen and Boy McQueen. I have no idea what his real name is. Uh, it exists. Go stream his music. It's on Spotify. <laughs> and then finally, for this tier, we got Austin's annoying Twitter friends. What a category. Mm, it's a... So basically... Oh, God, every, every, Namely, the Elijah Daniel. The beginning of the end was, like, entertainment. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love that album. But the beginning of the end was entertainment. Yeah. Because, like, um, Austin started, get, uh, like, uh, socializing more with, like, these, like, Twitter people, you know, Twitter famous people, because he was moving to LA. He got verified Within, like, finally. two years, he stopped being friends with literally all of them. Yep. It was it was kind of impressive, and everyone kind of saw it coming, un- unless you were, like, 14. But uh, basically, they were so annoying. It was just, like, really toxic use of, like, their fan base. Just, like, loads of hate go around from one another just like i think that maybe where the no things about him i think and, that like, might be where park's them. twitter like Turk took a turn yeah. for going downhill yeah that was like i mean it was already downhill it was but, like, it was, was going there the but toilet. it accelerated it, that was like it was like basically jet skiing downhill it went from like you know a slow roll to just like sharp to in incline yeah Oh my god, we all the fourth level. Oh my god. Again, again, that is one of the things that I said water parks drama saw coming, but yeah, got talked only down to for like a minute after. <laughs> On the fourth level, that we're the fourth level. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, first thing we're gonna go with um the warped T. TEI classes. Some reason. So, There's a lot um, that goes in with this. Basically, uh, a TEI class at Warped was supposed to be like informational. Let me search up the website for it. Actually, uh, educational. Because uh, Patty Walters had like a mental health <laughs> talk <laughs> one. They had like a. I don't fucking even know what the. Hell, it was supposed like, to be like a workshop for actual skills. Okay, hold up. I I, I found an alt press article about it because like it's not active anymore uh basically the entertainment institute otherwise known as tei is a Mm. firecracker in the revolution of business networking and music education so basically it was supposed to be like these little like you know self-help like informational like sort of um music things that something with substance um, Austin used it to fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> like so hard. At it mine that I went to, he talked about fighting bears, like uh, real ones or like gay ones. <laughs> real ones, which, by the way, um, 
Florida? No bears? You, you, there's, I mean, there is, but there's a lot other dangerous than bears. Yeah, I feel like uh, gators are, like, the first thing you'd have. Oh, yeah. To... Yeah, That's... it's just, like... The rest of them? Oh, I know. Are, it may I, have been gators that he also talked about fighting off. They don't even mention Austin in, like, the TEI thing. Oh, wait, no, because this is 2016, not 2018. But it's so... You see, like, I see the rest of, like, these TEI people from, like, back in the day talk about, like, you know, helping, like, inform people about, like, their, like, career paths and stuff. And then you had Austin who, like... Painting people's sandwich. nails and debating about soda or something and then had a whole like class about like this tumblr joke post oh my god them an industry plant it's just like what the he fuck? poured uh what you and call poorly it? cutting people's hair yeah he what did what did he do he, oh poured uh rubbing alcohol in people's ears i don't remember that you don't remember that, that? <laughs> I'm, I don't remember it, but it, it sounds like it happened. It's probably happened. There's, there's like, video I, I proof. need to emphasize to you. I had someone either... Oh, a class where he beat a sandwich with a tennis oh, racket. Yes. Oh, yeah, I mentioned that. He No, he did that multiple times. Like, he, he did that so many times. I was yeah. just like, damn. It wasn't even a tennis racket. I think it was just like a mini golf club. Something. Like I, the at handle. this point, I don't know. Anything sounds possible. Any Anything was possible back in the warp days because no one gave a fuck <laughs> and it was warped to her yeah anyways that leads on to our next thing tooth bat yeah <laughs> so basically one so basically one time austin saw this meme on like facebook market or whatever of like uh, a tooth bat you know someone selling like an actual bat with people's teeth on it so, oh yeah, when I search him, uh, when I search tooth, but uh, it's just mostly him. Oh my god! And didn't somebody actually give yeah. him real teeth at a meet and greet? I have no idea. Yes. I think. I think yeah, that happened. Someone gave them his ac- their actual teeth and a mold of their teeth too at like an emo night thing. He got so many yeah. tooth bats. Like I legit don't know where people got the teeth, but he got so many. It was kind of, it was really weird and mildly threatening, but, uh... It was a bad era. It would, no, it could have been way worse. Yeah. It could have been way worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was just a silly little... Yeah, yeah here you go. You know? It was, it was just like, then we go, it was just like one of those things you could tell was gonna be get, get beat into the ground. Yeah. Like one of these motherfuckers. So... <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> next we got the true origin of Parks' band name. So basically, you you had to dig for this. Um, so like one of the earliest uh, time times that um Austin would like mention how the band actually got its name, he would say like a lot of lies, um, including but not limited to. Uh, let me let me let me find stuff first because like. Uh, it's bad. Uh, he just liked going on the internet and lying for fun. Yeah, he really loved doing that. Um, That's what he was put on this earth to me, do. Yeah, let me put. A, let me uh, uh, quote like a couple of the things he said. My dad was a janitor, and he used to clean up beefy. Dudes puke all day at the YMCA with a mop and a tiny red bucket, no bigger than your head. He used to sit me down at night and say, Son, don't do what I did. Do something that lets you have fun every day. As much fun as going to a water park. Then I'd watch Goosebumps and take a shit or whatever I did when I was five. Oh, it's kind of sentimental and a little inspiring like those shit sports movies we used to have to watch in high school. Fuck remember the Titans. And that's how we got our name. We took a very long time choosing this band name because we've always had really bad band names, so we weren't in a rush, especially w- since we didn't even have any music yet. And we think it's stupid as fuck for a band to get a name and promote a Facebook with no music. Hear that? If you're in a band, don't ask me to like your band if I can't hear your band. <laughs> Annoying fucks. We wanted something different than the awful hardcore names that were flying around, like the 
verbs, the noun type names or whatever. We were almost called golf because we all hate golf and we thought it'd be funny or some shit. I'm glad we picked water parks and said we picked water parks because we hate water parks. Fuck Armand though. And then, hold up, there, there, there's gotta be another one. I know, I know there is another one because I remember it. Um, there's a standing suicide pack with everyone in the band. Once we're all ready to die, we're going to kill ourselves at a water park. So we live our lives around the theme that we are gonna die someday, and it will be at a water park. Also, we're into adorable spelling. Therefore, water parks. How did you guys come up with the name water parks? Any special meaning behind it? We all got our first public boners at Schlitterbahn. How did you come up with the name? From Hume, Hume 83. We all met in the Mall of, Ameri uh. of America for the Just Dance Championship, and uh, we got to talking while we were waiting for the next round to start, and we found out that we all used to be lifeguards at water parks, different ones respectively across the globe. We realized that water parks hold a special place in all of our hearts. <laughs> Anyways, um, the real water parks origin story is that um, they got the name from making fun of one of the old band members. Like, that's straight up, like, it. Because one of the, their old keyboardists what moved all the way from West Virginia to play keys for them. He could not actually play keys. So basically, they all hated him and would just make fun of him. They straight up, like, had photo shoots, like, where they would, like, just take photos without him, like, on the same day. It was very obvious because they were all wearing the same, like, clothes as, like, the other shoots. So they just, like, made him leave and then took the real photos they were going to put <laughs> in, like, their promos because they didn't, like, so anyways, they got their keyboardist. One of the other members would uh, tell him they were going to a water park when like it was band practice time. And he would believe this member telling telling them they were going to a water park. So he'd get on all his like swim clothes and stuff. And then like he'd just go to practice like an idiot. <laughs> and it happened ev a lot every time because he was really gullible. And they thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like a, a, a he issue. Believing yeah. that that many times? Yeah, it was a, it was a him issue, and um, also, uh, but also proof that bullying works. Bullying did work. Austin's license. So basically, uh, I think everything Austin from has now stupid on. Stupid license photo. I think everything you say from now on, we're just gonna be like, oh god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the general reaction. Austin's license. So basically, he just has these really stupid driver's license photos where he tries to look like he's naked. The last, the last uh, photo he got, he kind of looks look like, like a, a future, future pedophile, pedophile because of his stupid mustache. <laughs> but um, he just oh, I forgot that that was in the photo. That. He's just gonna have to live with that. That's what happens when the twink Didn't dies. Did his uh, first one take like six retries? Uh, yeah, it took like multiple. He mentions it in his book. So, like, it was so stupid, and it's just like, your twink death came. God. <laughs> Anyways, next we have Austin has never had a real job. This explains a lot about him, if you've yeah. seen him online. He never worked retail, he never worked food. Harassment of the Uber driver? Yeah, no. so that explains God. a lot. It just... We get into that later because I forgot about that too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the only jobs he had were mostly freelance and like babysitting, guitar lessons, stuff where like he was in charge. But like he also, like when he was in high school, he would have like a job being like one of the scare actors at like a local haunted house. Yeah. It's where like that one picture of him in like the bloody shirt and like the Ryan Ross makeup comes from, I think. Cause like what picture? What was not wearing that shit? You, you, you know, that one picture of like I, I don't even have like the picture on hand with me. I have to you I have to show it within a meme for right now to you guys. <laughs> So, I feel uh, like I vaguely yeah. know what it looks like, but yeah, yeah. Wait, let me let me show you to just like freshen your memory. Yeah. It Where feels like such a vague memory. See? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, look. Yeah. Yeah, it's that Sorry. one. He worked at a haunt. <laughs> Scene boy. Oh gee, what? The <laughs> amount one. of bracelets in that photo. God. <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> hitching a ride cover. It's just the hitch and ride cover. You know, it's the four like. I think it was Kerrang's like compilation of like Green Day covers they had with like multiple artists. 
There's yeah. also an extra cover, a uh, hidden cover of All By Myself, which was a, yeah. which was a jokey solo by like Cray Cool originally. So Otto was on the track singing for that one. It's cute. You can find it on YouTube. Yeah. And go listen. <laughs> oh god, the AP emission. <laughs> Oh, the, oh God! Is it, if you want, uh, Austin try and like barrel roll onto the stage. No, they did barrel roll him, okay. Otto, and Jeff. So they it actually all was successful. They rolled onto the stage when they accepted their first award for breakthrough artist in. And weren't they dressed as bushes? The they were carpet, dressed as. Yes. Uh, the I think that was the other year. I I have to I forget. Let me check the APMA's water parks um to check. Yes, they were bushes on the 2017 uh, carpet, which is where they won their first uh, APMA for best breakthrough ban, I believe. Uh, Probably. I that sounds right. And then, like, for 2016, they just all dressed in, like, track suits, and they kind of reminded me of that one Tumblr post that's, like, pale people in track suits uh, look like they huff gasoline in Yugoslavia. Yeah. And <laughs> they kind of look like that. Yeah, it was but, uh, best the APMAs artists. were like a godless place. You could just do anything, and people did. Honestly, they were more on the chaotic good side of things, all things considering. Shout but, out uh, to uh, the uh, APMAs being lawless. The whole metro station and no one there. They stuff. fucking stopped doing them. <laughs> Too much money to like start fights. Too much money for insanity. Too much money to be in Ohio. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. But the Starry Eyed cover. Um, this was an airplane conversations era cover. I think it would I believe it was featured on like some of the airplane conversations CDs. And uh it's cute, you know. Uh it's on YouTube. <laughs> Whatever. But like that, all the other covers. Austin's Ask FF. Oh God! This was this was truly like, time. God, was Sarah. The, when we talk about a godless internet, yep. we talk about like late pre fame was... Austin to like 2017, mid to like maybe mid 2018 internet. It was so bad. It was godless. People just asked too many things about Ciara after their breakup. People asked too many personal things. People. Sometimes he would just say what what H E B he'd go to when he was home. Like, bro, isn't that kind of a safety violation for you? Yeah, and it's still on there. You can't still it's find still it. It's still on there. It's still on there. Oh my god, it was just it was a wreck. And then he still managed to use it. I actually just book. found Austin's original story of his name. What? He just did it. It. It wasn't anything. He's he started writing it on papers. That's what. And then apparently his friends started. Yeah, but also doing he's it. a half. He's a serial half liar. I was about to say. Yeah. Like, so take that with I'm a grain of lie. salt. He, he's a serial half liar. Like his. Because uh, on Ask FM, somebody also asked him if he was a top bunk or bottom bunk. He said top because Otto is his bottom. So. Yeah, that's a lie because literally everyone slept on his top bunk. So. <laughs> yeah. Because he also said a song called NBA existed. That was never Bloom again, dumb. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot that Exxon existed. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. The blue pop tights over 9,000. Okay. Uh, this is my favorite. So basically, in high school, Austin was in these... Um, actually, it was technically one band, but it was like two different entities of it because like um, they have different drummers. So... It started with the Blue Pop Darts. Uh, supposedly, it was a band started around like 2006 with like a fully different lineup. Three out of four of the final lineup included people involved with Parks. It would be Austin, their photographer John, and the drummer Owen. Um, they had they the band ended after they opened for Blood on the Dance Floor. Yes, they <laughs> opened for Blood on the Dance Floor. It, yes, this is real. Uh, and Sadly. Yes, and yes, Austin did get offered coke uh, by Blood on the Dance Floor when he was 17, so take <laughs> that as you will. Um, anyways, so the band, the Blue Pop Darts, ended then because their MySpace says it was supposed to be John's last show, but it actually ended up being Owen's last show. 
So they needed a new uh, drummer. So they started like uh, giving out flyers for like a drummer and hosting auditions. And so one Otto Wood comes into, you know, the spotlight. The magic. Yeah, he makes a MySpace account for this band because he does not have any social media. And like, uh, (laughs) it's a really weird story how they met. But uh, I gave Otto a flyer, and at the top it said, like, needs a drummer da, right. da, da, at the time. Yeah. And then, yeah, just wound up, you know, meeting him through that. I wish he was here because he has a way better uh, S- story. Yeah, a better right. side of it. Because mm-hmm. I just, you know, I, I met him and I was just like, oh, my God, he can play, like, double bass. Like, like you know, like two pedals. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. His thing was like. This guy's weird as hell. <laughs> Um, he was weird, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, because uh, I when that first um, tryout for the the old band, uh, where it was where I reached out and I was like, yeah, I want to get together. Like, yeah, hey, come on out, have a practice. We'll see how things go. And I showed up, and I didn't know this at the time, but Austin is so directionally challenged that I mean, you just he's unreliable for trying to get anywhere. If you're like, hey, do I go? south on this road he has no idea what you're talking about (laughs) i didn't know that at the time so when i was trying to find the place where i needed to be for the tryout i called him right (laughs) (laughs) i mean so i was like hey i'm not and it was a part of town i'd never been in either so and they lived there so i figured he he should know i was like hey i'm on this road do i do i hang a right at blah 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 or blah he's like uh yeah (laughs) where not not convincing and then he's like tell you what call call this guy and uh <laughs> so anyway I, once i once i ended up there he showed up later he had, he had something to do uh, they were still in, in in high school so he was i think a i think a junior or a senior i can't remember but anyway he walks in it's upstairs at this house he he finally comes in and it's like oh you know austin's here and he comes up the stairs i'm sitting behind the drum kit and you know i'm ready to to play and, and meet everybody and he, he comes walking up the stairs and he's got um shoot i'm trying to remember <laughs> it basically it was it was it was pretty weird um just because i don't even know if it was i don't think it was summer either but he walks in he's wearing a bathing suit like showed up to like where you know we we're practicing and was it like the community pool no it was john's house okay right <laughs> Okay. And I don't know. I don't know if he wants this disclosure or not. He's pretty shameless, so I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> but he, he, he was. Uh, he, I, and I can notice this from across the room. His homeboy's Greek, so you know he's 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 you know supposed to have a fair amount of, of hair on him. But um, he, you know, he's got he's got he's got hairy legs. And yeah, he's like, it was about me. He's like, yeah, he just came through in like a swimsuit, and one of his legs was shaved. And he had like bleach spots on his hair and like, it was good. You know, he was like, yeah, I'll join this band. And I'm like, what's up with that? <laughs> it was it, just interesting. And he, he, he was a little bit of a goofball, uh, bubbly <laughs> and a little bit of a goofball when I first met him. And then afterwards to seal the deal. And this is how I knew it was going to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. He was like, all right, cool. Let's go to Chipotle. I'm like, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was, that was the, the, the meal afterwards and then so i bummed a a ride just like carpooled with them to go have dinner and then when we're driving back um he 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 drove me back and i also didn't realize this at the time thank god he's recently gotten this and taken care of but he's blind as a bat right (laughs) or what or was it's nighttime and it's okay. So he's driving me back. It's nighttime. He's blind as a bat. He can't see. He's directionally challenged. I don't know any of this. I just met him. And I was driving my dad's car. Cause I don't even, I didn't have a car yet. Yeah. And, uh, it was nighttime and he, I don't even remember this, but he's like, it's not raining outside at all. And he turns on the windshield wipers <laughs> just because I think, and, and I didn't have the nerve to ask him what was up with that. <laughs> But he it, it he was dead serious about it. He just he just turns on the windshield wipers and just keeps driving. And I'm like, what's what's up with this? <laughs> what is up with him? My first impression of him was like, yeah, this guy's pretty strange. But uh, you know, I, I I think he can work. 
Yeah, that's how Austin and Otto met, and that's how just Austin things. That's how the over nine thousand was born. It had like all the members except like their old drummer from the Blue Pop Torts. Except like then later on, before they would start recording for their debut EP, uh, uh, their bass and not I don't know why Austin still makes fun of him sometimes, and then like Otto's just like, "Why are you doing this?" Yeah, normal behavior. Uh, uh, but anyways, they were slated to go to Detroit to re- record an EP at um, the studio of one of the members of Icy Stars. Oh, God. Uh, this is the part where it takes a turn. So basically, they got scammed and like they didn't even get the files back. And uh, it was a pretty miserable experience overall. And but at their final show, which they didn't even know would be a final show, they performed at a high school and um after the auto just kind of stopped talking to them completely and completely ghosted <laughs> them and did the band as he should and that's how water parks was formed technically because on their twitter it said like they would go they would have a show that january but then like they were there was just like an apologetic tweet made after that because auto you know didn't text back or anything so <laughs> austin started making the accounts for water parks in february of 2011 so this is the month after he realizes completely Otto's not coming back because the band ended December 2010. He literally makes the account for a band that doesn't have a name, doesn't have members, doesn't have music, but he still made it. He kind of and, manipulated everybody into getting water parks. It's a longer story than that. It's kind of some uh, girl boss behavior. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but uh, that's how water parks was formed technically through the birth of these two old bands and then we have austin lurks online that explains itself he he, i think that explains itself it's just like he loves uh, like term searching himself and like steals all of our jokes like any any goddamn fucking like thing you can think of he's probably searched it reddit twitter instagram tumblr anyways yeah and then we have jeff has worked every job yeah, he did. And that's why like, he's normal. Mm-hmm. Oh, sh- Connect with him on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, but he's had like every job. Are those all listed? No. Oh, okay. I don't think I have anything listed besides this. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, no, Jeff worked like everywhere before we were signed and stuff. All kinds of places. Like, like well, it was airlines like Airlines that don't exist anymore. Yeah, he worked at an airline. Like he was the dude that like took your bags and like wasn't careful. He worked oh, but at, I was careful. He worked at a sushi place. He worked at Victoria's Secret. Yeah. He worked at T-Mobile. Wow. He worked at a credit card company. Hey. Yeah, yeah, fuck Jeff for that. Um, he worked at, like, he would call you and be like, hey. Um, hey, where's my m- Yeah, he worked at uh, that weird coffee place that you said was like for drugs or something. Um, I mean, not drugs. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> and um, what? It was a, you said it was like a sketchy, like, you're like, those people are weird, man. We don't have to get into yeah, it. Yeah, we but, don't have to get into that. Okay. And then we have Jeff's choker. Almost did not get him into the band. Let me explain. <laughs> uh, Austin is like a very judgmental bitch. So like, he was like making fun of Jeff for like wearing a choker and all his like, you know, Facebook photos and looking like a major scene queen, even though Austin was also an embarrassing major scene queen who used to wear monkey slippers everywhere and had like the stupid emo haircut still. So anyways, the choker (laughs) Jeff even wore was just, was barely even a choker. It was just like a goddamn piece of string around his neck. And in typical California fashion. Yeah, he almost didn't get into the band because of that. And now Austin be wearing collars out here, so. And leashes. Like, had no room to talk. It's like, hmm. Hmm. Life comes at you fast. Life comes at you fast. Anyways, next we got Auto Parks. My favorite iteration. (laughs) The only one that should exist. Yeah, it's just like, you know, Auto doing the lead on uh, Water Park songs sometimes. Uh, mostly when Austin's voice was kind of shot, mm-hmm. or like you know, for like different alt press videos. Oh, okay, we're gonna go into big park CC. Oh, <laughs> man, we're gonna get canceled. <sighs> we're gonna get the canceled buzzard out. Do we have buzzer to? Out right now. 
Yes. Uh, so basically, big proxies of the concept is just like um, I'm waiting for the cancel yeah. threads. Are we for talking about this? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a bunch of like uh, Twitter fans that get noticed by Austin a lot. I mean, you could have technically been a big proxy, Kirsten. So it was like yeah, one of I our other friends. Was. There's a difference because like you got it pretty noticed, and like you know he recognized your account, stuff like that. It's just like, is it really worth it to have his attention this much to like you know? No, it's I not. Be at scrutiny by him. No. Like mm. when you go offline, nobody knows. No one cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Like, you say you say like, some thirty-one-year-old named Austin like uh, talks to you a lot on the internet. Everybody's like, "Great, who?" Yeah. Anyways, um, here we are. Here, here we are. The Grace Auto Austin. Big moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man there's a page on our blog that details most of it by one of the older admins but yeah, anyways they put in the work. anyways Grace and Grace and Austin dated from 2011 to 2015 um, this is the longest public relationship Austin's ever been in let me note and um, they broke it off yeah I was like, could you, like I need, to, I need, I need to know because like, people don't really know this, and like, you know, it happened. So like, it yeah. makes more sense. Like, her mom was literally dying of cancer when they dated, so she she literally died a year before they broke up. So yeah, it's kind of a complicated situation. It, it adds more to the situation than people like you know, get from the surface level. because It was also not long after they broke up that she was already tweeting about Otto and being with him, so. Yeah, no, she was tweeting about being on, like, Tinder. She was, like, he said, like, within, like, weeks in his book that, like, she started fucking him, like, after. Yeah. So, basically, Otto Otto started fucking Grace, like, within weeks after the breakup, and um, no one really knows why he still stayed. They've lasted longer than Grace and Austin. Uh, relationship time. I mean, I don't know why he's there. I don't know why he's there either. And then, then like for other stuff, I don't want to explain. I'm just gonna put a compilation of just like all the crap that there is to maybe like a Juju song or like some other song where like they're screaming because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, first we're gonna get into the old members of Parks. So, originally, Water Parks was a five piece consisting of Austin, a drummer, Owen from, you know, the Blue Pop Tarts, um, a bassist slash um, unclean vocalist, Gage, the keyboardist who couldn't actually play keys, uh, Tyler, and then um, on lead guitar i believe was tommy denley he actually he actually stayed the most out of all of these people honestly so um basically you know tyler was obviously kicked up pretty early because they all made fun of him and like he couldn't play keys so that was gone and then tommy left for unknown reasons i still can't tell why but like he he still comes back in like later parks um releases and videos like i'm a natural blue and then, like, he's also in the background of the New Year's uh, 2013 video. And, um, Gage. God, no. Uh, oh, I know Gage. Well, hold up. Uh, so, basically, Gage could barely play bass. He was, like, um, he was a chain smoker. He was a heavy chain smoker. I found, like, this one, like, personal piece he wrote, like, online. I touched his full name and everything about, like, how he, Vaping saved his life. 
because he became a smoker to impress a girl. And he said, and I quote, he would do anything for sex. So it made it made me question a little some of his reasons for being in the band in the first place. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't think he was in the band to be in a band. He, uh, I think he was there the longest because um, he had the, he. I'm 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 being like eighty percent certain about this. He it's because he had a big dick. Like I'm I'm being <laughs> genuine. He was in the band the longest because he had. a like you look at that one promo photo they sent to like all press of all things that literally got printed in like one of their like bands to look out for section. That's a photo of him in his underwear, and like it's just like he Austin also chooses leaked, his friends wisely. He also leaked his own nudes on his anyone up. Like yes, that is anyone up, and like he only got pissed. He got more pissed at the fact that they didn't even get the bands he was in right. So it was just like. Are you seriously using his dick as a marketing tool? And the answer is, yeah, probably. And, uh, oh god, uh, this one's a sad one. Uh, Owen was, like, a longtime friend of Austin's, obviously. He was in the Blue Pop Tights with him. But, um, he, 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 ca- he had to kind of get removed from Austin's life because he, uh, supposedly fell in with, like, the wrong crowd and got arrested at some point. Tried to get Austin to lie to the police, so Austin had to cut him out. And uh, that leads us to the rest of the members we got, which is just Jeff and Otto, because they had a practice with Gage, and then they realized it wasn't working because Gage kept dropping his bass mid-song to smoke on the on the porch. Oh so. my god. It was in uh, my was living in, room. Yeah, it was the living room. At my parents' house. Yep. <laughs> and we basically were, were going through everything. It was cool. And then the guy that was actually playing bass was like, oh, <coughs> Hold on, I need to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, there's there's a that million reasons weird. he's not in the band, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he'd have to stop every like he'd literally like leave mid song to go smoke another cigarette. So at th- at this point, uh, he was the only actual member of the band besides you, and then right. you and I were on trial memberships. Well, the thing is, we didn't right? we didn't we hadn't recorded anything, we hadn't played a show. It's just like I'm gonna try and teach this person that I know bass because he doesn't do anything else, and. Like we'll see if that works. I just remember that. It was like that's not gonna work. I just remember thinking that was an odd dynamic because he would just unannounced just like drop his bass and then leave. Yeah. Like and we're in the middle of it, like middle of a song, middle of a practice, <laughs> and he just leaves. And I'd, like turn around and <laughs> your back porch. He's just out there smoking a cigarette <laughs> behind me. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then there were three. <laughs> yeah. That's how that's how water parks came to be. Uh, an interesting timeline. It's so stupid. It's so. Anyways, Poston. Who here remembers Poston? Sadly, I was say. nobody remembers Poston. No, sadly, I do. I think I still have it was the a marketing um, scheme. I, you I know still what? have the Alt Press magazine from oh, that. Yeah, me too. The Alt Press was rock sound. Same thing. I think it only. Yeah, it only happened because they were doing their um. Or yeah, they were column. doing Made in America yeah. together. Yeah, so, and they were both getting columns in Rock Sound. Yeah, they were both getting columns which um, in Rock Austin's Sound barely too. lasted, but Patty's actually happened for a while. Yeah, yeah. I th- I, it was like you know, you know when like you know they make like two twinks and porn like fuck each other. That's like what Austin yeah. was. Yeah, it, it was just like eh, look at these guys, aren't they so cute? They literally sold stickers of their of yeah of, like literally of their sh- ship. Yeah, there was a whole merch Austin. lineup. There was a sh- there like, was shirts literally too. Literally like a psyop. <laughs> It was another psyop, but it wasn't caused by Austin. It was like the media. It was. It was something. It it happened. It yeah. sure did. It sure did. God forbid. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Next we got D W H B Dumb Waffle House Boys. What up? Oh my God! This so bad. Okay, so basically. DWHB stands for Dem Waffle House Boys. It was a joke rap group between um, Travis. Oh, that's a familiar name. Like oh. Travis from Austin and Travis Silver Party. Yes. And um, his longtime friend, Andrew Atwood, who actually um, is kind of like a Parkus associate because he did keys on airplane conversations. They were a joke rap group that just like singing about like. Uh, chicken and waffles and like white crap like that <laughs> and they yeah. would give they would Normal like Austin a, behavior it was Austin wasn't even a part of this 
Austin met this met Travis through this group because he didn't go to prom, and they were throwing waffles in a Waffle House parking lot, and they became friends after this. This is real. This this part is real. I actually believe him on yeah because they used to give yeah, out it's like so it's so. You can Weird. tell, like, when he's lying, ironically, when it's, like, too normal, I'm just like... Yeah. yeah. Why would you he lie about that happening? You're like, he can together about this because it's too stupid. I yeah. found a musical review of this that says, um, Disclaimer, the music really isn't good. However, it is, in fact, absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and then, like, they have to, like, keep saying that, like, they, they suck stuff. But, like, yeah, it's... The music... Not oh yeah, the video um, is on YouTube. Yeah, there's a dumb Waffle House Boys video on YouTube. There used to be a third member, Dean. Uh, long story. I don't. I don't even know what happened to him. But he he was out of the group later on. There is an artist on Spotify with zero followers. Yeah, I don't think that's the right one because they no, it's they not. only had their stuff on Bandcamp. Anyways, Austin was featured on two of their tracks, "Light 'Em Up" and um, "Pray for Dean." Um. They're not available on like any streaming services, and they took down like the one with Light 'em Up on Bandcamp. So you either have to dig deep, or you have to. Yeah, you just have to dig deep. Yeah, and you just have to yeah, it's search terrible. and pray and hope it's that terrible. you can find it. You don't it. really want to see it because I've heard some of it, and it's like, God, please, shake the wheel. Uh, I feel like that's kind of the reaction with a lot of stuff regarding this band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The t- blue pop tarts plus O nine K vlogs. They exist. They exist. I've seen screenshots of them. They exist, but like they're not like up anymore for like one or the other reasons. Like, but uh, you know, it's just like one day it will be found. Dude. One day it will be found, and I won't have to look at that one screenshot of like Austin looking like the epic face. I guess. Um. <laughs> And then we got Austin Christmas shaving streams. So basically, starting in like, was it 2018 or 2017? It may have been 2017. I think it was 2018. Yeah, I can't, I can't yeah, even remember. Yeah, because his hair was purple. But... It might have been 2017 too, because he was, he was also purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah so I think it he was purple at the end of 2017. Oh, so, yeah. then... Because he was promoting entertainment by then. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, so he uh, started doing uh, shaving his beard to Enya's only time, like, in his parents' bathroom at Christmas. And uh, th- it became a tradition over time. Obviously, uh, during, you know, uh, 2020, he had to do it on New Year's at his, like, sad little bathroom. With It was so great. It was so depressing. But anyways, he does it in his parents' red bathroom every every like christmas for the most part to enya's only time and one and the first year his sister just kind of barged in on him like unexpectedly and then just continued on like nothing Mm -hmm. (laughs) it was so weird i think she was wearing like a mask yeah something like that the night the nights are very weird (laughs) they are a family Mm Austin side accounts. He has so many, bro. There's too many of these motherfuckers. We got Parks After Dark, Parks After Dark 2, um, uh, Austin 9000. It was 3000. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was ripping off Andre 3000. Um, you have uh, Fandom Orange, Property 103. And then his um, one that we won't name because it's his private. Yeah, this is like this is a genuine private he has with like his yeah. friends from Houston. Mm, yeah. Uh, there's too many of them. He keeps saying about. I feel how like there's probably needs- more. Yeah. yeah, he keeps saying about how he needs to stop micromanaging. But like, bitch, you manage like so many accounts. It's like. Dog, oh, and then there's of course the there's the um, high def Twitter account. Oh yeah, and oh, Instagram. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, I understand those ones because it's it's a brand. Yeah, but he made them private, so technically understandable. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> No one really knows what auto else auto does. So, yeah, basically, no, no, <laughs> no one, one knows. knows what he does. Like he does, he plays baseball with a local team, and he eats he Chipotle. On a he farm? climbs tree. No, his he, his parents still own that farm. So okay. technically, sometimes, but like, uh, he gets stung by bees, gets poisoned. He does not a have a working phone ever. Uh, yeah, uh, he has bad connection. Or he has a lot an of time. Old phone. 
Yeah, he has an old phone. I think it still has the button. Yeah. That's how old it is. I, it might still be his one from 2015. So. How is he not and broken? I mean, props to him for that, though. I don't know. He, he still had, like, he only got a phone, like, pretty late in the game. You know, 2015, it's pretty late to get an iPhone did it, in the first place. Am, am I making this up? But didn't Austin, like, force him to get an iPhone so that they could do group chats? Yeah. Uh, I think I think half of that, and also because like he couldn't, he, he didn't even know like Gmail was free. So that's auto, yeah. everybody. You know what? That's, that's fine. Let him. They're like auto. It's yeah. I wish I lived like him. Yeah. I wish I lived like him too. <laughs> if we all had the mentality of auto, I think we'd be in a better world. And then we have auto. A W T T O. This is the ship name between Austin and Otto. It's it's too there's too much. There's so much. It's, it's just like, the mega explosion brain yeah. of it's just like, what the, the graph fuck is wrong with both of you to stay like this this long and go through all each other's bullshit. Oh, it's because you love each other. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you have somebody in your band that was sleeping with your ex? Possibly Weeks after you broke up. Yeah. yeah. What reason? And you're still close friends with them. And there is still, no straight reason to you that. You still trust him with your music if you die. Yeah. Like, he is one of two people, specifically, he trusts with his music if he die. There's it's no so straight answer up. to that. Mm-mm. It's so messed up. It's so messed up. They hold hands all the time. Yeah, but that's normal, Austin. Didn't they, like, admit that they slept in each other's bunks together on tour before? Oh, no, that was Austin because he's annoying. Oh yeah, and he says he went into he goes he goes for when he feels like antsy he goes to for annoying Otto the mo first in his bunk because he knows it's a quote unquote cum dungeon and I'm like what why does this want to make you annoy him more why do you want to go in there that Austin I don't don't know why I don't know oh my god it's so messed up there's no behavior there's nothing that explains behavior it's so messed up okay. Okay. Uh. Jeff's baby announced a water park. <laughs> Everyone's favorite event. You, you were there for that, Kirsten. Why I answered you... it. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you tell the audience how that went? I think that us is about to turn five this oh month, God, actually. No. It is, it is such a weird time, because we just got the ask, and I was just like, I think I answered it with like, I was like, yeah, Austin exists. Yeah, 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 Austin's their baby. And, and, and then, like, a few later, months later, of- he just announces that he has a kid, and oh. it was very mind-blowing. I remember that yeah, name. because they sent the ask before she was born. She yeah, was born it was in like, April, and the baby was publicly announced in July. Yeah, July, because it was in Warped yeah, Tour. Yeah, because they kept saying Because you had to announce it, because obviously... Cause cause, um, also I started think, uh, spotting, like, a stroller. Yeah. Because yeah, like, so. Chloe was following Warped Tour, so of course he had to announce he had a kid. It was going to be seen. It's too suspicious. <laughs> but it was just like, who knew this? Like, what roadie? What, like, I mean, what person close we, to like, I wanted was, to like, tell? Like, thinking it co- possibly could have been Austin. It, I mean, yeah. No, no, no. He would have. But, like, the fact that they told, like, a blog, like, a public a random... blog. It, it makes me think. Because, like, sometimes we even get asked, like, Weeks before, like, they're officially announced about, like, things that end up happening. Not with Austin, though, ironically. Like, and he's, like, the most blatant of everyone. But, like, oh, no, they everyone even they even up. said the season the baby was coming. Yeah, they said, oh, she's yeah, coming in spring. C- congrats, congrats to Jeff and Chloe on their new baby coming in the well, spring. I don't know why they would tell us. Yeah. I don't know why and they I, wouldn't tell us. I answered them. it. Ex- I was like, oh, the only baby they have is Austin. Dude, and then, I, so- of course, when it was announced, I... Went Not back and said, "If we really doubted this and on, yeah, oh god, it's like, why do people tell us these things?" Sometimes? Yeah, it was February nineteenth. People, people shit on us for like answering some things, like answering five, rumors five and months before but, like, the baby we don't was born. No, like things aren't like are real until they happen, or like we get like proof otherwise. So we're just like, Did you tell us this. Why do you it was it was a whole five months that is five months of pregnancy yeah that someone like, knew, knew but before. someone even knew the dude like the dude yeah, spring. yeah like, but what was the purpose like 
if even if we did they had to, like uh uh which one caught believe it like what did they want us to do uh, dm jeff and be like tell us about your baby now like i think so. i think some people just like being on here to start shit yeah, like, yeah. Even- imagine if they were just like making it up act like genuinely <laughs> yeah, that would be funny <laughs> it's funny but like uh, there's there's other blogs that might make up shit but um we'll get to that later <laughs> so next we got literally any private video just it's in the name literally any private video there's one in particular we'll talk about later but uh you know it's all just like you know old vlogs and skits austin's stupid cool runnings uh by dwhb interpretive dance music video Anyways, and then we got Austin and Otto first meeting. Already went over this, yeah. but you know, weird as fuck. It was so the weird. weird uh, yeah. 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 Uh, then we got the swimmer's beef. This is where oh, we get man. into it. So, uh, hold up. When did he start talking shit? It wasn't, it was 2017, right? Yeah, wasn't it during the uh, tour with All Time Yeah. Low? It was probably during the all that or after. I was gonna say right after. Yeah, because like like, 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 they they were talking so much shit. Because I remember like there was just like, let me look for like some goddamn tweets because (sighs) I don't remember what started it. Didn't swimmers like call him unauthentic or something? Or like like some tweets or something? I say. Oh, it's because um, I he was. They were also fighting with uh, Ciara. Oh, uh, okay. I think, yeah, I think they were, they were just yeah, fighting anyone. Max from what tweeted, Max from Swimmers tweeted that uh, more than half of the bands that are marketed as being a band are, in fact, not a real band. Somebody replied, low key water parks, and I think he liked that tweet. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then Ciara, and then Ciara went replied. after him, and then yeah. Austin went after him, and it was just like a oh, whole wreck, really. Oh, yeah. He kept liking tweets um, mentioning that it was water parks. Yeah. Because he also said they use fake amps and they bring disgrace to the history of the guitar. Mm-hmm. Don't write their own songs. And then yeah, he kept like all he did about was, like yeah, all swimmers. If you thought water parks was bad at talking shit, swimmers was worse because they couldn't even like they couldn't even back themselves they, they up. They were all like rich kids, so yeah. Nepo babies. Cole made fun of it and said, "Not sure how my brother managed to get in a Twitter fight with a, a power, power ranger." ranger. <laughs> They're terrible people, yes. Don't listen to swimmers. They're ter- mm-hmm. They're genuinely terrible people. Oh, the... Austin X, Victoria yeah. Justice. Oh, and in turn, Zendaya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Austin doesn't know how to talk. talk but about mostly Victoria Justice. they're, like, light-skinned. Anyways, so basically Austin had this whole, like, running gag about, like, how he was, like, obsessed with Victoria Justice and stuff like that. And it got really weird and just kind of low key harassing because he kept trying to send his like fans after her in his in her mentions, and it was just like, bro, you're like in your fucking like late twenties. You 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 grown. Wouldn't he like your... put her post on his story? Yeah, and then just be like, oh, she Mary, we yeah. like you know he. I, I, he would try to play it off like, oh, I'm just making fun of you guys because this guy, what you look like. But also, it's like you are a 30 year old man t- too committed to a bit that's not even funny. So, that nobody wanted. Nobody, like, yeah, nobody asked for that bit to happen. Nobody liked that. And people started accusing him for being misogynistic over it, which it kind of was, uh, admittedly. Yeah. Like, eh, it, was, it was a little, like, eh, no matter how you put it, it's just like, eh, yeah. So. Finally, that ended. But once. <laughs> Finally, uh, he's done with that era. And then we got Water Parks Drama and Parks Tumblr. Ooh, who are they? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh my god, I know that. I know, I know that. I know that. I know those guys. That's familiar. I know those guys. So basically, uh, you and Deep, if you're here, honestly. <laughs> like, not even if you're just finding this on, like, YouTube or something. If you're on the blog, bro. <laughs> You know, yeah, you know, you, you know, you know. <laughs> that it's you. not for beginners. I, I'll warn you if you if if this iceberg was anything to go by. But um, there's a lot of stuff on here. Every it's so funny. We always get clowned on, and we join in on the clowning because we also <laughs> know that Austin's kind of 
easy target to clown on. Yeah. And he usually deserves the heat. So it's just like, yeah. If you can't beat him, join him. Duh. And then and then we get clowned on for joining in on it, even though we didn't even start it. Anyway, oh my god, we're on we're on tier six. Tier six, everybody, tier six. The I was hiding under your porch because I love you music video. One of the private vid videos, actually. Um, that has uh, been re-uploaded this... at least six times now. Yeah, it's been re-uploaded so much, but I was like the first to re-upload it when I was yeah. in high school. <laughs> Ironically. Um, it was their first, Parks' first ever music video. So, like, this was pre-Jeff and Otto. Like, and Austin had just got off his um, crutches. Mm -hmm. I will explain that later. <laughs> But um, it's the first Water Parks music video. It's just like a simple like band performance, and then at the end, like a bunch of people like come out and then just like randomly there, kind of like vibing <laughs> with the music. Yeah. It's 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 kind of weird at the end, but like not really. But yeah, anyways, this is the first Water Parks music video ever, and it's the only private one because it has the old members, and I don't really think Austin really wants to. <laughs> put that on to yeah i don't think he wants to share anything yeah, besides he, what's happening right now yeah it's uh it's if you re-upload it it'll get copyrighted tr by them trust i still have the email from the time i re-uploaded it back in like 2018 mm -hmm. but to be fair i did not know what was up with like the old members but at that point uh but like you know what's happened happened and you know it's it's an okay music video it's like a very like it's a video local yeah. band. <laughs> it's a very local band video it's like what happened happened and what happens there uh let's see everyone in parks has sisters pretty self-explanatory kind of makes sense if you think about it uh i think they Jeff have families has... yeah <laughs> they have families guys i didn't know that <laughs> Jeff has like two sisters like, austin and otto just have like one but uh, jeff has two uh, let's see, the live show basis. So basically, since Parks uh, didn't really have a basis enough to gauge, they would just get like a variety of friends to play bass for them in like the early days, like up to like 20, uh, like they stopped do consistently doing it in 2016. But their basis, um, from what I could find, mainly consisted of John Rocha, their photographer now of course um Tommy Denley who was the former water parks guitarist um Vaughn Isaac who was the engineer for airplane conversations and blacklight and uh, Michael Swank who was the lead vocal lead clean vocalist of Micah Relocate and now currently is the vo lead vocalist of Fox Era and then Mikey Way, who do I, do I even have to explain him? Yeah. It's Mikey Way. <laughs> That's self-explanatory. Like, it's Mikey, Mikey Way. Way it's, it's, it's Mikey Way. It's Mikey Way. Yeah, but like those are all the guys that I could find that that did base. I think I'm missing one person, but like whatever. That's most of them at least. And then we got Polly Parks. Little bit of a niche strip, mm. honestly. Um, uh, wasn't I think this a lot on? Um instagram uh no no not really no, it was actually. mainly tumblr actually it was, it was a tumblr thing yeah yeah like, uh, if you like if you like them um why don't they just all date each other uh, uh. it's an overused concept yeah i say i think i think maybe it shouldn't have been applied to real life but um we'll get into that later <laughs> Otto is colorblind hey remember when we said all the arrows were color coded and stuff Otto's Otto can't see them. Otto can't see them. It's why it's probably it's probably why his favorite hair color on Austin is him being blonde, because it's the only color he knows. He's he just can blonde all the see. time. He literally cannot see <laughs> the colors. Every the world must look like such crap to him because uh, he he can't see red. He can't see green. Uh, I don't know what other else can he see. He but literally like, can't see every color that Austin has had. I bet. Yeah, he can't see most colors. Um, I I think he could see blue, 
I think he could see blue. I don't I don't know about purple, but like I I know he I, he probably could see blue. Uh but yeah, he can't see pink, can't see red, can't see uh yeah, lots. And then we got Jeff lived with Austin's family. Pretty self-explanatory, but like uh for a couple years, I think like 2013 or 14 to like 2016, he lived with he lived on Austin's top bunk. Like, just, like, for a while. Like, straight up. Like, I feel like it's something that gets overlooked, because it's just like, wait, Jeff lives here? And it's like, yeah. And he's just here. Yeah. Uh, he, he, it's just, it's just yeah, a he, visitor. Also, he was top bunk, as um, as Austin's um, ask of him lies, <laughs> so... Yeah, but he singled out Otto in that message for no reason, but... Yeah, it's just like, he he, he lied about being t- a top bunk, Austin. We all know you're bottom bunk. It's okay, <laughs> you literally were... <laughs> Sticky eyes. Uh, yeah. Hey, remember when we mentioned all those side accounts, Austin? Oh, right, had? I forgot about this, this one. This one was uh, one that... Uh, would was themed around putting sticky eyes on things, and, uh, you know... Those little googly eyes and uh, just like making up stuff about. Uh, yeah, he ran captions. it with uh, CR, I think. Yeah, he ran it with CR. So you want to. That went so well when they broke up and uh, had those to comments leave, like, in that on, that on that account definitely weren't overrun with weird people. Right. Then he posted to it like after they broke up, but didn't like no, want to. I think it was. I think it was like either her or him. Because I, I know, know there's that. Can't tell. It probably was her. Where he's hold up, let me let me. I, I I it's on the blog. I can show you guys up oh, there. There we go. Cause like uh, cause someone brought it up and they were like uh, yo, is that you? And he was like, no, like full on black box. It's just like oh my god, oh my god, like they fought on their stupid googly eyes account. That's how bad things. Were. Next, we got pop is not a dirty word. So pop is not a dirty word was like um, the working title and also just like EP, like general EP for like uh, parks. It was supposed it, it was supposed to be like what Blacklight was mm-hmm. really. So it kind of showed that like he didn't intend for the alphabetical thing to happen. It just did. And uh, it had a different track list. It had like this one track called the. It it had most of the same songs and like on Blacklight, but like one in particular that people uh, pointed out was "They Come, They Eat, They Leave," which is mm-hmm. a Bugs Life reference. And yeah, it it never got the, to see the light. Um, there's a uh, one particular like uh, demo or like live song they would perform that people think that song is, but you know we'll never know. And uh, pop is not a dirty word will always remain a concept that never came true. good austin ghosting all auto ghosting austin <laughs> leading to parks i already explained this so yeah anyway really over that one it was so long oh my god oh god we get to the bad parts okay um, oh man before we get to the bad few. parts uh john xd i just needed to make fun of him for that that just used to be john's like username on everything um that's how so quirky. so quirky that's how soon he was Austin race. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go we're from here. quirky to really quirky. We're going to hell, bro. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's a video that exists. It's, it's not really a video that exists. More of this, like, 
a way of me to tell you that like, there's so much racist crap that Austin used to say. It's like he's from jokes. Texas. He's, Come on, it's, it's like oh my, not even just like, like cause he's just he's just really fucking oh god. So basically, like back in the day, like before he was famous, he was just like kind of known on the internet for being like crass and like making a lot of racist jokes. Sadly, like, that's especially like, like the popular thing to yeah. do at yeah, that time. Especially like in like racist vlogs. This was like a specific thing people would like complain about them for. Like they'd yeah. watch them out of morbidity, but like they'd be they'd, like do all this gross stuff and then like they were, I I've found like um some of like the old grace vlogs with austin in them like there's at least when they're in a vlog together uh I, there's at least one point where they have to say something racist just like for no reason i'm like god damn i did a every checklist. time bro, uh, every well, time bro they have to like point out someone's race or just like say something like racist for no reason like dog what are we doing here <laughs> so like if you see a call out with like an old tweet or like video of Austin being racist, it's like it's just like, yeah, he was. He just won't yeah. admit it because like that was him. Or, like, that was that was him he definitely was, he, doing he that. He self admitted like even in entertainment era that he used to get do a bunch of do rags of his taken away because uh in uh in like school and like these were ones he owned when he was like white as hell. The, yeah. And, he he owned do rags. He's he definitely said the N word on Facebook. He's um he said racist crap. I mean, why why do I bring this up? It's just because like people try to like paint Parks as like unproblematic yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like no, especially has, especially like, Austin. Yeah, you know, it's like everyone has missteps. Everyone says something really offensive. He he has multiple missteps. It's like so fucking bad. He's but, had you know, multiple missteps. He, like I even don't, don't have to forgive years. him, but you can like accept that it happened. Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, but he, I will say, he has shown some growth in that stuff and has owned up to at least some things he said. I think it took him so yeah, long. He just still to... denies like some but things because of for his own good. He hasn't answered I for think a lot of he stuff. He can't like come back from that, but like, no, yeah, I mean, like, it happened, it's there, that's history. Yeah, you, you just have to accept that he's that it was like it that happened, and he, he was like that. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. The lift drop. <laughs> oh my god, this one. I mentioned this earlier. I, I think I said Uber on accident. Uh, I no, you said lift. Yeah, you said while lift. Ago. Harassment of the Uber driver. Okay. Yeah, can you explain that? Because I blocked that out too. Oh my god. Okay, so basically, I, I think they were on tour and he was trying yeah. to get a lift to go somewhere and for some reason he wouldn't put his full name on the account which like have to that's a normal thing to do on those like, those apps this one driver wouldn't pick him up so he blasted the guy on twitter and was like trolling him in messages and stuff i think he got the guy fired I don't, I don't I even Lyft, know what happened to the guy i think lift like this is like out to him and was like oh we're so sorry about that and then Austin was like, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking, LMAO or something like that. I was like, duh. You, like, you, you have to have, your, it's for security, you're supposed to have your full name on the account. Right. Or, or it was, it was either you if he didn't have he his full name, or he had a name on it that didn't seem real. Well, I think it was a fake I mean, it's name. It's his real name. I think he went by, like, Constantine or something, because, like, it had to do with, like, his middle name. Yeah. Yeah, his real yeah. middle name is Constantine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was so stupid, and I was just like, you could have just solved this by shutting up. <laughs> this one isn't even, this one isn't even his fault. Um, McDonald's girl. Kristen, do you remember that one? Oh my god, yes I do. Can you tell me what happened with that again? After- Basically, it was, um, this fan from Canada that said they met up at a McDonald's. And, and like, made out with Austin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that said that he ordered like two McChickens or something. It was so yeah. stupid. Was... Why are people so stupid? Oh and this is also God. the same person that I think got blacklisted from a ton of meet and greets. Yeah, I think they got blacklisted from shows in general. 
Was it um, was it the person that I was friends with for a little bit? Yeah, somehow? I think yeah. I think it was because uh, I, I when oh, I went, yeah. I was like, oh god, <laughs> what was wrong with everyone? Like we gotta we gotta research the mental illness that happened specifically between like Austin put- 26, 2015 to like twenty eighteen. Like there was something deeply right. wrong with the world. I think it was the mix of uh, like parks getting bigger or like getting more known, and then people just not knowing how to act with lesser known bands speaking of um insane fans we got fanfics miscarrying austin's baby oh, I, oh isn't this a more recent one this one's recent okay I'm saying, i don't remember this it's like i'm like i feel bad for you if you like gotta have like this be like this genuinely delusional but like also bruh <laughs> and they kept going um, even when called like, out for I it i think they convinced like someone else like about they had like a whole like, gr- like a whole group chat convinced it. <laughs> Second to last one, everyone. Second to last one. Ah, uh, oh my god, we're almost there. <laughs> Austin Six is post perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. gonna get shot for that. I'm gonna get shot <laughs> oh, for that. Man. Wait, wait, wait. I, I will say, um, he has had a breakup. Before every album cycle. Premonition with Zach. Um, I think it's just like a little inside joke between, um, you know, the Parks Boys and them. But I think Austin even references it in like a phone call to Otto during like one of the ATSP episodes. You know a fragrance coming out? Premonition. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's uh... But like there's this one famous video of just like, you know... Austin, Jeff, and Zach, you know, prov- promoting like a fake perfume called Premonition, and it's just like this. They're cute little inside oh, joke, yeah. and um, also <laughs> Zach mounts Austin at the end of that video. So <clears throat> historical, it's it's historical. <laughs> then we got Jeff Polycule. Yep. <sighs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah, that's we're finally going to give the answers to yeah, our six thousand. Yeah, in boxes. Yeah, that that ended. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. like all over. How they broke up? Who knows? Hard to tell. <laughs> Auto skirt pick. Not showing it to the public. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is um, it Grace in it too? Yes. Yeah. Anyways, but, uh, it, I will. It, I, will I will add like a my historical uh, recreation of it here because <laughs> uh, some things are not meant to be seen by the public. Again. <laughs> Like that is one of them. I don't want to get in trouble for that. <laughs> Anyways, um, Otto's weird ripped clothes. I don't think anyone noticed this, but like Otto just always had like these weird ripped clothes for some god's every reason. I like pointing this out because like it's also on like one of their like early pieces of merch with like their shoes, and like one of them has a hole in it. It's because it's Otto's shoe. He always wears like crap with holes, and then like also he used to have this pair of pants. They just had this huge hole that would show his underwear. And it's just like, what the hell? How do you live like Oh, this? well, okay, maybe he just cannot. He was like, you know what? I can still wear it. Might as well. Might as well keep it. Memes for John. <laughs> do you remember memes for John? Uh, it, was, it was... This is a very, very niche thing. So there was some of Austin's, like, fan account for John on Twitter. Like, for... That was actually like, run by Austin? Cool. It, it was, was, at it first, was legitimately yeah. run by Austin because he I made, was, like, meme. I always thought it was Daft. She took over. No, no, that was a different one. Oh, that Jesus. Was, yeah, it was just, like, memes for John. You had to be yeah. there. Like, you you literally just had to be there. It yeah, was very chaotic. It, it was uh, very And stupid. if you were there, you didn't want to be. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, why am I, I here? I think that most things. Uh, but at least it was harmless. Yeah. And uh, didn't get too far. So, eh. Yeah. And then we got um any of Austin's secret accounts. Ooh. So this is different than like a private account. This is like lurking. A secret account. <laughs> it's just like stuff that's not even technically supposed to be associated with him unless you know or like found it on accident. Like, you know, some of his like shit post accounts or like some accounts that people think are him, but actually aren't. Oh, like, you know, those you know accounts. The ones, oh. Yeah, you know the ones that like are like to be cryptic and stuff, or it's just like 
there's one real one that I that I that I won't mention because like also the username's hard to say out loud. But uh, yeah, then that got deleted when fans found it, and uh, now people try to like. <laughs> People like impersonating Austin on like their own fake accounts. Hey, Kirsten, you wouldn't know anything about that, right? Um, no, of course not. I, uh, I was yeah. definitely not one of the first ones that did that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, by <laughs> the way, it's, it's too easy. Yeah, so I was about to say. Don't fall for any accounts. It is very easy to impersonate Austin. Like, it is like dangerously easy. Right. It's why, why, like, you'll see like half these people following like a fake account like that tries to be him. The mm-hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh... water parks lore. <laughs> Shipping Austin with literally anyone. This is the big brain stuff. Like you could just ship him with anyone. At some point in 2018, I shipped him with like the bassist from Hippocampus. Like anything <laughs> is possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Craig. Jesus Christ, Craig. Okay, where were we? Um. Um. Shipping Austin. Yes. Yeah. Shipping Austin with anyone. That's the big brain stuff. Like you can ship him with anyone. Like Wattpad writers do it. Ao3 writers do it. Austin does it. The, yeah. The possibilities are endless. Trustin. Trustin exists. Trustin unfortunately exists <laughs> uh, you could ship him with Lu- their tour manager you could ship him with uh, their photographer you could ship him with fuck who the hell we ship <laughs> god you could probably ship him with somebody from someone any ship band he's been on tour band. with someone shipped him with like someone tried shipping someone, someone sometimes it gets into like weird territory when people try shipping him with like People who are literally gay or just like women who are nice. To oh him. my god! The one time that they tried to do um, Bond from Stand Atlantic, and while she yes. was dating a woman, <laughs> yeah, she's clearly, all because was, she like yeah. she wore a hair tie gay. or something. Yeah, yeah, they like he like borrowed her hair tie or something, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, that means they like like each other. They're dating," and we're all like, "She's gay." Oh yeah, the anonymous um, girl. I think Austin might like the singer from Stand Atlantic. The hair tie tweet makes it sense that it would be her. Well, she's stupid. How oh do you yeah. have to be tweet that? He has long that. hair. Bruh. Yeah. I'm... He's paranoid. He grew up in Texas. He, mm. Yeah, it's just like it, it, ha- it pro- probably. It's like, it, what do you expect? I mean, there's a picture of him holding a gun at a store. It's, a brain, it's like a huge gun, brain too. Like, I could probably do some defending pop. <laughs> It's not weird to. It's not really that far off to say he owns a gun because, like, I think he discussed it on one of the podcasts before. And then when they tried to get into Second Amendment rights, he was finally like, "This is probably a bad idea to talk about, is it?" And it's like, <laughs> talk about, let's talk about us sleeping with each other. Okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Limousine Ox. So that's just a side channel of Austin's that posts like instrumentals and um demos and like you know stuff not on streaming services of park songs it's like a really simple concept he revealed it in like a twitch like uh ama a long time ago yeah he's very open about that account for some reason yeah because he, he was like no one found it so yeah he oh, hasn't like, people that. find it yeah because like because like people People find the obvious things about him, I will admit. But like people find but people don't find the stuff he wants people to find. <laughs> That's the thing about Austin. Ooh, Polaroid guitar. This one's my favorite. So basically, um, back in the day, Austin used to have like decorate his acoustics with these Polaroids of like his friends and family and stuff like that. And it was really cute. And uh, he kept doing it up until like maybe like 2014 ish is like the last time there was a Polaroid guitar pictured. And he keeps the Polaroids with him. I think I think he might have it in his LA apartment because like he's posted some of them online again recently. Uh, yeah, it's just cute. I put that there because it's cute. This is one I do not know. Oh, yeah, I don't know this one. Oh, that's just Travis. 
It's straight up. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, that's just the name of Travis's um, uh, accounts. It's cute. He It makes uh, a cameo in Austin's book during like that AOL bit he has, even though he wouldn't have known him during Austin's AOL days. So it's just like, yeah, of course. Austin Tumblr moments. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So this, this is cute. There's, there's a lot of things this could encompass, but like, oh, this is a little funny. So, um, uh, uh, Austin, like, when he had his Tumblr up, he used to be a bit of a Tumblr boy back in the day. Like, especially like back 2012-ish. in those olden days. 2012 ish. Like, he used to get a lot of his like photos like reposted onto like photography accounts and stuff and the like and like um there's a couple like popular photos of him like the one of him with like like fuentes or like photos that happen to have him like um this one photo of pierce the veil in 2010 and austin's at barricade it's just like he used to be the tumblr boy he could have capitalized off that so bad but like no he he stayed on twitter bro (laughs) he stayed on twitter but imagine um, imagine the timeline difference if he had just stayed on Tumblr. I think he would have be... been more evil, but it would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like Ethel Kane. I respect Ethel Kane. <laughs> yeah, so true. Uh, but uh, now he just uses Tumblr to lurk us. <laughs> and he doesn't even have it. And we all know this content. is true. Yeah, because yep. he stole one of my jokes once. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And don't uh, forget, um, Travis posting a trust and true thing. Yeah, I, I was, so uh, oh, yeah, from that day when we want to kill myself. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> here's something we can make fun of Austin for. Austin, <laughs> <laughs> this next one. Um, this is legit. This is legitimate. He legitimately auditioned for Euphoria because it was an open mm. call. Like people get pissed at like pe- people re-uploading it, but like when it's open call. There's, like, you don't really have to. There's not really a lot of rules to that because, like, it's not like it was, like, a closed casting where, like, you had a script that was, like, had your name, like, printed on it and everything to prevent leaks and stuff. This was open casting. So this, is, this did not fucking matter. And they used different names for the characters they were yeah, aiming well, for anyways. Episode titles and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. um, basically... And also, the video was public. Yeah, it was yeah. public. It was public, too. So, like, you can't complain there. So, it was posted by a talent agent on, like, January 2020. It was a genuine... It was also a genuine audition because it was posted by the talent agent. And um, it had used uh, stuff, the script from the open call for um, the character that... Um, what's his name? Do- Dominic Fike um, ended up playing in the show. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. And, you know... Obviously, the character is a drug user. He's a high schooler. And Austin is a 30-year-old man who doesn't know how to act and has never taken drugs in his life. So it, it went as bad as and you also expect. And Austin literally doesn't like them. Yeah. Yes. Um, it went as bad as you expect. Um, it's really terrible. It's like middle school acting. It's like Disney Channel acting. It's like... Yep. No one no one found a good way to watch good thing to come of this other than making nope. fun of him. Which is I exactly have, what we did. I have still never watched it. I, no. I, I, I cannot watch it in full. I genuinely <laughs> cannot watch I there saw like, videos of him at 15 being fringy and loitering in like public places that I can watch. That those. is better to that is easier to watch than this. Because oh, at man. least he was he was like that's a good age to act that way, whatever. You know, he yeah. was a 30 year old trying to be a high schooler. He went to be a drug in high school. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Austin should not <laughs> like consider a career in acting after Park. Be, um, and take it unless, all seriously. Yeah, it's not even like he's Pete once who like knows he's a bad actor, and it's just kind of like. <laughs> and that was the point of Pete acting. Yeah, it's, uh, like he really thought he was like doing some HBO shit, bro. No. <laughs> He literally you can tell he's like, I'm gonna win an Emmy. I just know I am. I'm, I'm gonna win an Emmy. Yeah. This is this one's this one's a little more lighthearted, anyways. But you know, all things considering, but um, yeah, in 2012, Austin had a leg tumor. Like he literally developed a leg tumor. It was benign, but he had to get it taken out after a little after his uh birthday, and, and so. And so he was on crutches for like a few months. 
like he was not doing well uh he 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 had to drop out of school because of it he was already planning to but this gave him a better excuse too and um so he dropped out of college um he barely had a band and he was still making their debut ep uh you know he was on crutches uh and he uh, was kind of miserable and high on hospital drugs and uh then he got out of it. I think it, it was, I think his crutch era was cute. What, <laughs> what, what's so wasn't, what, what, he, wasn't he teaching uh how kids how to play guitar? Yeah, well yeah. he was still on crutches. There's still photos of him like on crutches what well, and still like out in the world. He only got off the crutches, I know, like what, May twenty twelve, because that's when he shot the I was hiding hiding under your porch video. Mm. So like yeah. He got the EP finished because he was like on crutches like half his half his time making their playing conversations obviously. Hi, it's Ez here. Um, I'm editing this and I know I missed like a lot on the iceberg and so I, I decided I'm just gonna have a speed round of stuff I missed in like one minute, so hold the fuck up. So WTF one. It was Austin's old catchphrase, uh, what the fuck would Austin do? He ripped it off from, uh, I set my friends on fire. Gotto, it's a size different ship. You gotta love it. Entertainment the movie. I should, I think it should have happened, um, instead of fandom live. Uh, talk to the wall. Uh, Parks condoms. A bunch of, uh, faulty merch that, uh, they tried making. This is real. Uh, Austin is straight edge. He doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs. Uh, probably the only consistently good decision. Uh, see you in in the future. Uh, t um, typo on a fan's tattoo that he that Austin re uh, reflected on streaming services. Uh, Austin's eBay leg hair. He sold his leg hair on eBay and so he got banned. Uh, toe tokens. Uh, stuff his mom uh, gave him because she's a PE teacher and he used to wear a lot. And then eye rings. Uh, you know, it, it, they're just eye rings that he bought a long time ago. And uh, honestly, if he wore it with the toe tokens, I think he would probably. This one's a this one's a funny one. Okay. Oh, this this oh man, this one. This is a this is sure layer. This is it. This is it, bro. And then I put the over nine thousand blogs post. Yeah, over nine thousand had a Tumblr. It was deactivated in twenty fourteen, and uh, I can't see anything from it. I found like exactly one post from it still on Tumblr, but uh, you know, it 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 existed. That's why I put it at the bottom here, because I don't think people n even know about that, that are into, like, the whole O9K Blue Pop-Tarts thing. And, uh, let's see, Austin Knight shoplifting. Uh, so basically, um, this one blog got an ask about Austin just being like, um... I don't know, I, I'm from the Houston area, and I don't know anything about water parks, but I didn't know the pre-fame Austin used to shoplift a hot tough. And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. And, like, if that was actually real, i respect him for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> Honestly, so based of him. It's like, uh, yeah. That figures, that checks. Why and not? The, if... <laughs> then we got Ass of 2010. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so backstory. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it. So okay. basically, in 2010, Cypress Ridge High School had their senior photo senior photos taken, like you know this class photo, and uh, they had these shirts spelling out class of 2010. So during the photo, C and L ran off, and um, uh. They took the photo and it was said ass of 2010, obviously, because ha ha ha. And so, so it, got on the, it got on the news because these ki the two kids were fined for like doing that. And so guess who one of the students was that was that were interviewed for that uh, news article? Ooh. Austin Knight. Senior what? Austin Knight. It's That's uh, with his human name, too, because he was 
what he would have <laughs> just turned 18 at that point no wait hold on let me Suspended let me show and find you. money for that yeah jeez the texas school system sucks it yeah sucks. my that's like my local news channel that's so weird <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. And then we got Otto's old band. So Otto was in, like, one, two, three, three bands uh, for Water Parks. One of them was his first band. And uh, who, where I found, like, a video of, like, him performing at, like, a local Battle of the Bands or something. And uh, one of the comments was, like, this little dude, uh, Otto, that drummer is my uh, neighbor. Otto Wood is the <laughs> shit. Uh, Listen to their demo tape. It'll rock the taint clean off your body. And I thought that was funny. So that was his first band. His second band uh, was uh, some other thing that I can't, I can literally find nothing about him about. Third band, obviously, 09K. And then, like, fourth band. Well, I should mention it, but, like, it was... Uh, <laughs> Technically, Otto has more <laughs> music experience, experience than Austin. No, Austin was in no, like, so many other even. bands. He was in like yeah, was bands saying. since he was thirteen, and there was like so many. He already he only listed off like two others I know of: uh, the Black Meaning, oh, right, right, Bloody Death Deaths, and Death Breakfast. There's probably a lot more because he he said he did it since he was thirteen. Not only did it since he was like in high school, so yeah, there's that. But also somehow um, we know this about Otto. Yeah, well, somehow we know this about Otto, but Otto. But the other band, the final band I mentioned for Otto, like, it, I mentioned it in particular because uh, it was the band he was still in after, like, 09K. And it, it, he, it was kind of awkward, obviously, but, like, he, he, he kind of he looked at a place within, like, the rest of them. And he was also in, who, guess who else joined the band? Their fucking old bassist from 09K. So... <laughs> Yeah, it was just, like, messy, and also, it, he was in the band still during, like, 2011, aka the year Austin and Otto didn't talk at all, so. <laughs> also, he was in multiple reckoning. Bands. Yeah, also, he was in multiple bands at the same time, because that's just, like, what happens when you're a drummer in a local scene, so, like, he was just, like, he was band cheating, essentially, until, like, he joined Water Parks. Then we got Every Time We Touch, WMV. What is this again? <laughs> wait, 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 let me show you. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Wait till it gets to the chorus. Is that- Okay, um, we have our final contestant. On, uh, the, the best one to ever exist. I sucked oh, off the night's dick during the layover while it rained. I'm also a guy. <laughs> the, 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 I don't I don't even know what to say about this one. I don't know it's what to just, say about it. As I'm saying, so perfect. Perfect. okay, so basically a long time ago there was this one groupie blog that would like post stuff about like sex tips on like how to get like how to get with like band guys and stuff. It's it was it was a little controversial, especially like considering now. Uh, even at the time but uh you know it was just like all these groupies like trying to sleep with band dudes and like <laughs> like spreading shit like you couldn't tell what was real or what was not sometimes there were like std rumors sometimes there was like oh this guy cheats i wouldn't trust that so it was just like stuff like that and uh so one of the posts in particular that like caught on like with like even outside of tumblr was this one post about um someone su- some dude supposedly sucking Austin's dick during the li- during the Houston uh layover that warped because you know, there was a layover because it rained hard and uh yeah it's beautiful this is the best ask you could ever get like, I wish like, we had gotten it I wish we got it too because like it's funny you want to see my working theory on like who sent it or like who it could be about Yes. Take a look yeah. at this. Take a look at this symbol. Okay. This is this you is know? in Houston. This is during the warped layover. Yeah. Travis. Yeah, that's true. Travis. Yeah. There. The answer is Travis. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> when is he not the answer? 
Like I, I can't believe it, guys! I can't believe it. We we solved the we solved the thing. It is. We solved it. We we we. we. It's like that one whole Reddit post on the th- one that Reddit that people were trying to find the band member or something, but we actually solved it. We we, we did it, everyone. We 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 did it. That's an accomplishment. F- and uh, oh look, what's this here? This is stuff we take to our graves. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, did you even... Oh, this is an... Oh, yeah. Yeah, did I ever yeah, tell those you? ones... What is that theory? Uh, yeah, man. This is the part, is the part where I stop recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay!